uh, morning rituals, I guess. Yes, we did have rituals. Some rituals that we uh, that we did follow at school. First thing in the morning, we did say "No Canada," and we saluted the flag and we said, "I salute the flag, the emblem of our country," and we said the Lord's Prayer. School picnics, and uh, we love it. We had Christmas concerts. And the, the, the highlight was the Christmas concert. Mostly, when we were older, mostly plays because we had to memorize. And the young ones just maybe had one or two lines and usually they got out and seen all the people and then they were scared so they run off the stage. And... But we, the whole school would, she'd line us all up on the stage and she'd play the piano and we'd all sing different Christmas carols during in between, and it was a big thing. Religion was a big thing for those people in those years, I guess, and they they did their living around the religion and churches, and it was big in the area. We went to church every Sunday, and uh, see, that was another thing. We go to church, and you, then you got to visit and see your neighbors, and you get together, and you used to go for dinner or whatever. After church, you visit somebody and you had to eat their chicken or, or stole their chicken the night before and bought, buy them over for supper. <laughs> Lots of things happened through the church like this. Had fall suppers and and ice cream socials and dances and so there was a, it was one of the things where people got together. I think. We said the, the Our Father, and being Catholic was a short version. And one day I said to my mother, you know, the others say the long version. And all around me was Protestant people. And then I remember mom saying, well, when you get there, just stop and let them rest carry on. And that's what I did. We didn't have no problem with religion and that type. And then every harvest when we were done everything, then we'd, they'd have a big party. You know, like the people, the town people, the graduates and the elevator people would be invited. And it was a fun time. Most times it was at Art Barrett's place, he had the biggest house. So that's where we had his place is where we had our school picnics and stuff too, like Sunday school picnics and school picnics. They had a big, almost like a park type yard. And that's what I always wanted when I got my own place to have a lawn and stuff, because we never had a lawn. So, so now I've got a big lawn and a nice yard. And so it was, yeah, it was like lots of Sunday events would be at their place, you know, horseshoes and baseball games and softball. And, yeah, I remember different things that uh, decorated in classrooms for Halloween. And then I know lots of people would be really interested in different activities and, and different seasons like um, Christmas pageants or tournaments or intramurals. Then looking forward to also in the springtime with the track and field. I do remember uh, there were track and field uh, events and uh, we have competed with other schools. I was never a track star by any means, so. <laughs> I did win some ribbons, yeah. I used to, wasn't a bad runner, I guess. But high jump, I wasn't, well, we tried. Yeah, there were track meets, and then we, we uh, every year we went on a field trip to Banff. Uh, that was always something to look forward to. Uh, to the end, end of the school year, field trips. And then at the end of the school year, there would be a picnic and all the families would come and we'd have games and we'd have races and ball games and tug of war and stuff like that. And everybody took part. Then we'd have a nice big lunch with lemonade and that would be the end of our year. That was school. <laughs>